Residents of uh, Galili and Uncalde villages in remote areas of Garsan constituency could not hide their joy and excitement after being connected to electricity for the first time since Kenya's independence. Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Churchill says besides Garsan, the government has accelerated its rural electrification program to most remote areas in the country. This is what accessing power for the first time looks like. An excited village eager to utilize the possibilities that come with the electrification of their area. According to the Ministry of Energy, since the rural electrification program started in 2013, the number of homes connected to electricity has risen from 2 million to 9 million, indicating 75% connectivity. We can really come to where our people live, the Kenyans, and give them the power so that they can feel empowered, they can feel part of the country, part of Kenya, and be able to be part of the development of this country. It's being undertaken countrywide. The total funding is about uh, $57 million. But this particular project, uh, Gariri on Kode, is costing us about 16 million Kenya shillings. Galili village imeanza mwaka wa 1940s kutoka 1940s mpaka wa leo 21 century hatuna stima tunashukuru sana serikali ya Kenya kwanza vile wametuletea stima during the official witnessing of the lighting of electricity in remote villages, it was revealed that in the past, basic services such as photocopying that would ordinarily cost 10 shillings would force a person to spend 300 shillings to travel 24 kilometers to nearby Minjila town so as to get the service. Local leaders now say several other remote towns are eager for their turn. Kuna kijiji hapa inaitua Gomesa, hapa hapa jirani na Galili, kuna hii balo, Nadibe pamoja milimani hiyo pia hii team kabla haijatoka hapa naomba waziri we ni mtu wa kazi tunaomba iconnectiwe hiyo sehemu 170 iko hapa kuna Gomesa kuna Dibe na milimani yote wanahitaji eh, kawi Residents now hope that during the holy month of Ramadan, residents will not have to buy ice from a long distance so as to drink cold water or juice, even as the government moves to cover other remote villages with power. Alan Aoko, Lunchtime News.